Hello and welcome to another Decidio Opera Omnia video. Today we're going to cover up the uh, big updates that we got for this game. Uh, there was a big maintenance yesterday, but today we do get the updates of Chapter 10 and we also get the Autumn events. So Chapter 10 obviously has uh, the story draw, which is Raijin, Fujin and uh, Safer as the banner. And we also got the campaign draw of story selection, which is Tyrus, uh, Lightning and Balthir in that banner. Which is for 2.5k, uh, which is 50% off. We're gonna do that pool later. Uh, we're gonna cover up the Autumn Festival campaign that's happening right now. It's obviously Autumn now, no more summer, everyone's back to the school, etc. Um, we are getting the event with the Cactor Conundrum. conundrum. Um, we will fight the uh, a special one now and then uh, with the flower on the head, which gives a lot more uh, XP, I believe, and crystals. Um, oh, this is shows here. Uh, you, you may also encounter a rare monster in this quest. The golden cactus drops a large amount of gear, while the cactus with a K rewards you with a lot of XP. So, uh, there's also a limited time uh, if you do fight enough cactus with the K. If you fight 15 of them, you get, you know, obviously a lot of tokens. So, make sure to do that. It's a 30 day, uh, I think it's a 30 day. Let's see. Until 25, yeah, so we got about uh, a month on us to uh, complete this mission. It's not that too bad. Um, and we also get another one. Daily mission reward, it's being doubled now. So we do get uh, 200 gems for carrying 5 quests instead of 100. We also get 300 Cedar points, which makes up for all the stickers that we got gotten so far. And obviously with all the uh, weapon upgrades, we're going to get a lot of orbs. Um, login bonus. Uh, well, yeah, we do get a lot of new stuff uh, every day. It's not something... I mean, day 6 and day 2 is probably the best part for all the free-to-play players. And obviously for everyone else, you can pull more tickets. But that's basically for 28 days, uh, every week you get these type of items. So, really nice. Uh, we also got the uh, during campaign says you get silver tokens, autumn tokens by clearing story chapters. If you haven't finished your story in uh, normal mode or I believe hard mode as well, I'm not sure. Um, you get tokens and with those tokens you can purchase your 15 CP weapon. So um, yeah, it shows here clear chapter one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You get I, I, I believe it's only normal mode, so it's not a big deal. Like it helps out for the new players as well. So only clearing it in normal mode is fine. You get uh, silver to chapter five, and then everything else is chapter ten for gold. And they separated it, and uh, obviously you can see all the weapons here being shown. I will go through them soon, um, trying to make this video as short as possible. And obviously we do get uh, some sales on gems for those that likes to purchase, you know, support the devs and them pull for more for themselves. Uh, we also get World of Illusion, a uh, new chapter, World of Illusion part. Uh, I believe this is a new one <clears throat> and obviously doing this will get you a little bit more gems as well for completing every single one of them. You also can start to farm artifacts for certain characters, Safer, uh, Fujin, Raijin or Radiant and the other one is uh, Tigers, Wealthiers and Lightning. So if you do want to farm artifacts for these, these are really good uh, right now to do that. Um, obviously it's telling you about the hidden quest, blah 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 blah, we already done this. Done. And obviously chapter 10 is now out, as I mentioned at the very beginning of the video. Um, <clears throat> waiting for it to load, it will star um, safer over here. Really nice. Obviously, I won't be um, I won't be pulling for any of this banner. I don't think I will. Uh, I mean, they are pretty good characters, but I don't think I will use them in co-op. Uh, there's no mandatory to use them because they're not being synergized or anything. So I'll stay away from these three characters for now. Unless it's your wife or a husband or whatever, then go for it. So going off with the shop. We got the uh, new shop called Autumn Story Challenge. <clears throat> I already completed most of them. Uh, I got all the uh, silver tokens, obviously clearing out all the pre uh, chapter 1 to 5. And I will cover up what I would pick 
uh, for the silver ones for now. Uh, so we do have Shadow, Laguna, Steiner, Furion, Only Knight, etc. Et you can see the list by yourself. Um, I think for me personally, any weapon that I pull multiple off before, if I'm missing one to max limit break, I would go for that. But uh, if I would choose a character I want to aim for the 15 CP, I would pick Laguna's weapon or Terra's weapon. And uh, we got Yuna's, um, 15 CP is pretty decent, but I would recommend going with Vaughn instead. Um, Ishtola is pretty good in the later, like in the future, uh, but it's not really a priority at the moment. Vivi got recently buffed, so if you do miss out a few weapons, for example, and you don't want to pull for his banner, uh, obviously go for Vivi, but it's not really my type of character I would go for at the moment. But uh, I would recommend Cloud for that uh, Paralyze, uh, if you haven't max limit broken it. I would go for Cloud's 15 CP, Vaughn, uh, Terra and Laguna. So those are the four uh, 15 CP I would recommend for the uh, uh, for the chapter 1 to 5 and obviously you can only pick two of them and for me right now I'm trying to look at the... I'll, I'll open them up later or purchase them later. I believe I have most of these weapons uh, max limit broken but uh, Laguna is probably going to be one of the choices that I'm probably going to be uh, using my 20 tokens on. As for the golden one, we got Waka, Galof, Shantoro, Lyle, Zell, Vincent, uh, Siam, Papa Limo, uh, Lightning, Irvine, Sarah, and Edgar. So, with this, um, it really depends on what you had before. Uh, my recommendation would be Lightning, uh, but obviously, she, you can pull for her banner at the moment with the 35 CP and 50 CP weapon. So there's a chance that you're probably gonna get the weapon, uh, 50 CP weapon, uh, anytime soon. And if you haven't make, like, max limit broken it, if you're missing one, I would recommend doing that with the tickets or with the tokens here done. Uh, but I already have that max limit broken, so I'm not gonna go with that. Papa Luma is a good choice here as well, the 15 CP weapon. Um, Lyle's weapon is gonna be something you wanna focus on later on when he gets his buffs. So that's also an opportunity there. Yes. So out of all of these characters, I would recommend Papa Limo, Lightning, and Lyle. Uh, the rest of them, Sarah and Irvine, for example, those are characters that you can use if you do have their weapon, etc. But I, since I don't have or don't want to focus on them, I probably won't be using mine on them one. at all. So that's my uh, recommendation, I guess. Uh, some of you might want to go for Vincent if you prefer having Vincent, for example. But yeah. Uh, leaving that zone, we're gonna head to the uh, shop. We're gonna do the banner pull. I know it's been a long video already, me explaining everything. But uh, as you can see, we do get safer um, Raijin and Fujin's uh, banner here. Not interested in that. But it is interesting to see. Uh, their abilities and what they do and what they boost with the weapon. So, for example, here you do get the No Mercy and the target gets up to tack down um, on that 15 CP. Same thing, let's see, with Fujin you get Metsu Boost, increased brave damage when attacking same target, blah blah blah. And uh, Raijin's 15 CP weapon would be Fist, fist Boost, uh, Party gets Physical Attack Boost. Uh, duration up and uh, fist plus turn rate goes up as well. So, I mean, out of all, I feel like I mean, Raijin's weapon is probably most worth it at the moment. And uh, let's see, Safer gets Blood Fest uh, boosted. That's quite a lot of stuff. Really interesting. Uh, obviously, it's a 35 CP weapon, it's 10%. Do you have the luck? I don't know. I, I haven't gotten my good RNG lately, so I'm avoiding this. Um, Sai is boosted now on 35 CP, you also get 4 turns resist down with the wind element. This is, I believe, one of the first characters that has that uh, debuff with the wind element down, which is interesting, if you prefer having that debuffs on the enemy. And then we get the lightning version, so if you don't want to play with uh, Garnet, for example, 
then this is an opportunity to use the resist down with Raijin instead of ICP. Um, I would say, yeah, Raijin out, out of all characters, Raijin safer is pretty. looks pretty good in this banner. And obviously, for this banner, I think majority will pull for this at least once uh, because there's a chance of getting the 10% uh, of 35 CP weapon. Uh, I'm picking my. Uh, my chance here. I'm gonna go for it and I hope we get some good luck. It's only gonna be one multi draw, but that's about it. Let's see if we get any luck. My hope here is to get 35 CP Titus and my hopefully I can get some 35 CP Lightning as well. Uh, we'll see. We did get 15 CP for Vincent. I thought that was my bad luck where I got, you know, off banner, but uh, I'll take that. And we did get 15 CP for Lightning. I already have this maximum broken, so this means this is gonna be a Power Storm for me. Not too bad for 2.5k, I got two weapons out of it, so, you know, it's a win win deal for me. Um, because this is gonna be a Power Storm, and I'm not sure if I'm gonna make this as a Power Storm. But since I don't have Vincent's 15 CP, I might as well keep it for now. Um, but for 2.5k, this was worth it for me at least. I hope you guys have good luck with your banners. Uh, I won't be pulling anything anymore. I'm saving my tickets, I'm saving my gems um, for Kite Sith, hopefully. I'm not sure if I can hold it because uh, I know Sephiroth is going to be, you know, after this, these type of events, I think Sephiroth is going to come out soon because it was mentioned on the twitter that sephiroth is leading uh, but we'll see uh, thank you very much for watching this video and i'll see you guys in the next one